Assalamu alaikum. Many influencers and health enthusiasts are promoting the use of digestive supplements while fasting and encouraging it during iftar. When you are fasting in Ramadan, you are able to eat in the dark hours. Therefore, you are able to meet all your nutritional needs and there is no need for supplements as you are eating a balanced iftar and suhoor by including foods from all the food groups along with fluids. So unless you are already taking supplements, for example, for iron deficiency anemia or vitamin B12 or folic acid or other prescribed nutritional supplements, there there is no need to take any other vitamins or minerals. However, as a nation, we all have low vitamin D levels. So if there is one supplement that is encouraged in and outside of Ramadan, it is vitamin D. So what are the benefits of vitamin D? Well, vitamin D is a nutrient you need for good health. It helps your body absorb calcium, which is one of the main building blocks for strong bones. Vitamin D is also important in protecting muscle strength and preventing rickets, osteomalacia and falls. Vitamin D helps carry messages between your brain and your body. And vitamin D helps the immune system to fight off invading bacteria and viruses. Groups at risk of low vitamin D are babies and young children and children and adolescents who spend little time outside, pregnant and breastfeeding mums, people over 65 years old because their skin is not good at making vitamin D, people with darker skin tones such as Asian, African, Afro-Caribbean and Middle Eastern descent who live in the UK or other northern climates. If you always cover most of your skin when you're outside, the further north you live, the less sufficiently strong sunlight there is for you to make vitamin D. Anyone who spends very little time outside during the summertime, that includes the housebound, shop workers, office workers and night shift workers, and if the air is quite polluted. So how much should you take? Babies up to the age of one year need 8.5 to 10 micrograms of vitamin D a day, and children from the age of one and all adults need 10 micrograms of vitamin D a day. This includes pregnant and breastfeeding moms and people at risk of vitamin D deficiency. Probiotics are live bacteria and yeast, promoted as having various health benefits. They're usually added to yogurts or taken as food supplements and are often described as good or friendly bacteria. Probiotics are thought to help restore the natural balance of bacteria in your gut, including your stomach and intestines, when it's been disrupted by an illness or treatment. There is some evidence that probiotics may be helpful in some cases, such as helping prevent diarrhea when taking antibiotics and helping to ease the symptoms of IBS, such as bloating and feeling gassy. So for most people, People, probiotics appears to be safe. If you want to try them and you have a healthy immune system, they shouldn't cause you any unpleasant side effects. The digestive supplements encouraged by influencers and health enthusiasts are more often than not digestive enzymes, which are claimed to help alleviate the symptoms of bloating after your iftar. A digestive enzyme is a complex protein made by your body naturally to break down food into smaller molecules so they can be absorbed into your body. Most digestive enzymes are made by your pancreas, though a few are made by your mouth, stomach and small intestines. The over the counter digestive supplements are in a pill or a tablet form. They may include one or a combination of multiple digestive enzymes. Some are sold in conjunction with probiotics. They can be easily bought online and not all of them are halal. Essentially, in practice, other than pancreatic insufficiency, there is a lack of evidence to show digestive enzymes sold over the counter improves digestion and could be a waste of money. Plus, some carry risks including interactions with other medicines and contamination. So before taking any digestive enzymes, discuss with your GP or medical doctor. So in summary, it is encouraged you take 10 micrograms of vitamin D a day and you do not need any digestive enzymes to supplement your diet. Remember this information is all free so don't forget to subscribe, like, share or follow Conscious Bites Dietitian.